This week's video is sponsored by absolutely nobody. Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. Lost Latvian here with the four pack, four pack of NHL hat. Yes, we're back with an NHL um, hat, like reviews, so to speak. I am wearing my 940 Rabbitohs hat, the A-frame. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it, man. You know, you saw this hat, you know, before. So now I'm rocking with my Rabbitohs jersey. Uh, absolutely love it. But uh, let's look at these freaking hats, you know. Before we start this video, though, uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the thumbs up. Uh, thank you for the comments. I really like it. I respond to every single one and I like to talk to you guys, you know I like to show off my collection and I want to hear you know what you guys think about it, you know uh, And yeah, I just share my passion for hats and so here are the four side patches and uh some may say I'm absolutely fucking bananas, but may and, and maybe some will understand me, you know. Uh, but uh, so this four pack, you know, there are two very good looking hats. Like I like I like it a lot, a lot. And then uh, there are two hats. One hat I wish I never bought, and I would. Uh, exchange it for another one and then this other hat you know i like the front logo but uh it does the hat does not look that great in hands you know like for whatever reason i don't know uh, from the preview videos from topper store europe you know it looked much better uh but anyways you know when well, let's start with the biggest controversial a hat, you know, where I probably gonna get my ass chewed, you know, and you guys gonna tell me I'm a fucking idiot, and that's fine. Hats made in Bangladesh. Hat literally sold out in seconds here in the United States and went on a pre-order. Uh, in uh, Europe, it sat around for a little bit, and initially I didn't cop, but then I went to get my NFL hats, and. Uh, I went for buy three, get one free, and the free one was this one, you know. And uh, it's not like I regret buying it. It's not a bad hat, but uh, I don't know. I, there was a better hat coming from this team, you know. Right now it's currently in transit. Uh, by the time this video is out, I'll have it on my hands. And that hat most likely gonna appear either on my Stunner Awards, you know, as an, as an, uh, like an exclusive <laughs> review, so to speak, you know, and will most likely enter the race for hat of the year, you know, or it's gonna be on my Christmas edition uh, video or something like that. I'll try to sneak it in somewhere, you know, and I, but, but I like that hat much better than this one. This is a good looking hat, but I wish I would exchange this one for some for something else, you know, for some other NHL hat, you know. But yeah, I mean I know I'm gonna get a backlash. But anyway, so here is this green dome, you know, and I like the green man, I, I I just don't know, you know. Like a beef and broccoli man, that that colorway, like yeah, it's good, but it doesn't work for me that great, you know. And uh, so here it is, start beating me down. It's this Chicago Blackhawks, you know, hat. And uh, yeah, the logo is great, you know. I mean, it's a good looking ad, but I wish, I wish, if I would have an opportunity to exchange, uh, you know, remember there was that avalanche hat with the Bigfoot on front, you know, I would I would exchange that one for this. Not because I'm an Avs fan, you know, but uh, and even that hat, you know, like like I did not like that Bigfoot on 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 a front because 
a big foot was a side, it was a shoulder patch, you know, and shoulder patches to me should always stay on the shoulder, front logo should stay on your front panel, you know, that's, that's my, the way I like it, you know, yes, you can mix and match and do whatever the hell you want, you know, there's a hat coming out from toppers, you know, where this shoulder patch is up front too, and I'm not saying that's a bad hat, you know, I just prefer uh, some kind of a, like a, how to say it, man, you know, similar, similarities, you know, and the way they're placed on the jerseys also to be placed on the hats, you know, but it's me. So yeah, not a, not a bad hat. This is a good, good looking hat. You know, this is not a trash. This is a great hat, you know, but if I would have an opportunity, maybe I wouldn't exchange for that fucking Avs hat, but I, I would definitely find something else, you know, uh, I would much rather have that than than this one, but yeah, call me crazy, man, uh, but that's what it is, you know, so hat number one, yeah, green, a dome, uh, gray under, uh, walnut brim, I believe, uh, then you got this freaking tomahawks, you know, the shoulder patch on the side, like where it needs to belong, you know, and yeah, great looking hat, but not my colorway, so to speak, you know, that's hat number one. And this, yeah, this all came from, this is Topper Store, Topper Store Europe, you know, easy, easy to cop, you know, I did not have any fucking struggle. This hat maybe still sits over there, maybe, not sure, but, but it was sitting like five days later, it was still almost full run, you know, it was sitting there. So that's how, so how, how easy it is to cop in Europe, man, and I love it. So then this hat, you know, um, it's a Bangladesh one. This one uh, looked way better in uh, on uh, pictures in the preview video than it looks in hands. I wish, I wish, I wish this crown, this is my favorite, this this used to be a, a main logo on a jersey, man, you know, when uh, they used to have purple and yellow colorway jerseys, you know, like kind of like Lakers, like, you know, uh, Marcel Dion played in a jersey, I have the jersey here, you know, I've been, I wore that jersey one time on a show, uh, this is my favorite front logo, you know, King's all-time favorite. Uh, I wish this was in purple, you know, or yellow, so to speak. Uh, then you got the side patches, a newish like uh, King's logo, you know, and you see the purple a little bit in here. So why not purple here? And why not purple here? And then the front logo is the King's. And... Uh, it's it it doesn't look bad but I mean having it here if you can see this this king's kind of logo yeah I, I would prefer this one over over just a script but it's a little too late uh, I would say this probably is my my weakest NHL hat so far, this Kings in my collection, you know, I got more NHL hats for you to see, you know, but that's going to be another day. But yeah, this is a hat number two. Forgot to do the size checks, but we're going to do it like after I'm done with all four of them. So then here comes the freaking stunners. And I prefer this this hat way more than any other uh, released up to this day. I actually have another Islander coming in from Hat Dreams and, and you'll see that at some later day as well. Uh, maybe together with that um, Black Hawk, what I, what's, what's currently incoming, you know, on a Christmas show or a New Year show. But uh, I like the simplicity 
absolutely love this one. This is so well done. It's not overdone. And that's what I like about the black hats. There's this lighthouse. And then there's everybody hated, you know, like Islanders fans hated this logo. And this logo lasted on their jerseys only for a, for a season or two before it got removed, you know. But here, I mean, this is awesome. I did not like their blue version, you know, that teal blue. And then it had the same fisherman on it. Man, that was so damn bright. And, and uh, I, that to me looked ugly, you know. I prefer dark, dark freaking crowns, man. You know, look how, how great it looks. This is a fucking stunner, man. This is one of the first hats released by Toppers USA. Not Toppers USA, Toppers Store Europe. And uh, I like uh, Toppers Store Europe hats, NHL hats, better than the U.S. hats. I think Pat, while, while Pierre, you know, is kind of genius about the baseball and minor leagues or whatever, but I think that the little lack of knowledge uh, in a hockey, you know, like a little deeper kind of what he has with other sports, you know, uh, kind of puts him slightly behind uh, Pat, you know. I think Pat understands NHL cats and, and, and the whole culture uh, better. Like Pierre's, Pierre's hats are like louder, you know, like more loud, crazy looking, you know. Uh, Pat is more cell, you know, more classy. Just the way I like it with the NHL. Gray under, black sweatband, and uh, it's a it's a Bangladesh hat, New York Islanders. Alrighty, my friggin' battery on my camera died. Apparently, I didn't uh, charge my battery, so I got my last spare uh, battery. So. <laughs> It saved the day, you know. So anyways, let's move on, you know. So that was the Islanders, right? So now let's go to the last hat, you know. And this is an absolute beautifully done hat. Super classy. This one looks so much better in hands than uh, when it was previewed. Uh, it has the flat... Uh, Flat front logo, I don't know what it would look like uh, embroidered like with the raised embroidery, but this fucker, man, is absolutely stunning, man, you know. And it, I, I don't know how it all works with the new era, you know, like who decides if the logos are raised or they're flat, you know, if, if somebody knows. I don't know, Leon, if you watch this video, can you explain it to me in the comments like real short, like is it a the uh, cap creators uh uh choice you know or 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 it's new era how it's digitized you know like how the logo is digitized i kind of lean that way more you know but uh this fucking thing man you know i mean initially you know like i kind of like that didn't like this 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 logo i kind of preferred the old school you know Sabres logo, but the more I, I look at this one, the more I think this is Sabres best logo, you know, and the way this one is done with these uh, uh, details, the red eye, you know, and then the red outline and, and friggin' silver outline, you know, like it's just layer after layer after layer, man, and this hat is an absolute freaking stunner, you know, uh, totally freaking love it, man, you know. This is an effing stunner, man, you know, effing stunner of the hats. You know, beautifully, beautifully done, beautifully done. You know, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do the size checks on them all, since I freaking forgot the first time. This is made in China. This is Buffalo Sabre. This is one of my, my favorite, favorite looking hats now, you know, what I have for all the hats I've copped, you know. Uh, fits great, looks great, you know, nice, nice Buffalo Sabres. Like, absolutely freaking love it, man. Then, uh, now let's go and 
where the Islanders and this hat was made also now this is a Bangladesh this is a Bangladesh hat yeah a lot lower crown and you know, uh, out tighter tighter than than that China hat you know now this even may require a little stretching if I ever curve it but uh, it looks great man this is a great great looking hat then let's go with the kings let's go with the kings this is uh also bangladesh a little little deeper but this is that king's hat what do you think you like it it's not bad and then the last one was that uh, beef and broccoli and Chicago Blackhawk, which I would trade for another hat. Maybe, you know, a little tight, a little tight, a little tight fit. Um, let's see where this came from. This is also the Bangladesh. Yeah. Uh, it's not a bad hat. It's a good hat, but beef and broccoli, I guess, is not my colorway. And now, let's rank these hats real quick. Uh, the fourth place is going to go to this Kings. Yeah, Los Angeles Kings. The third place, this beef and broccoli. Chicago Blackhawk hat. This logo is being now used so many times that it's almost like I'm getting sick of seeing it, you know. Overdone, overdone logo alongside the Mighty Ducks, you know, the Ducks hat. Uh, third, uh, second place, this Islanders hat. And then the hat I like the most is this absolutely beautifully done Buffalo Sabres hat. Clean as clean can be. Fucking stunner. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Slap a like button on it if you enjoy the content. Uh, share the video. Leave a comment, have a great health, and a lot of Latvian. And wishing you all the best, great health, until next Saturday, I'm out. Take care, my friends. Bye.